Let's graph the parabola. It's x equals negative 3 times the quantity y plus 1 squared plus 5. The first thing you want to do is recognize the form and then identify the vertex. So in this form here, since we have a negative 3 and you have a y squared, you actually know this parabola is going to open to the left. So it looks something like this. And then, of course, the vertex is h comma k. Let's identify the vertex. The vertex is uh, 5 and negative 1. So if we could easily plot that. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then negative 1 here. Uh, and we could going to need at least three ordered pairs. We do have an axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is this dotted line right there. In fact, why don't we label that? The axis of, axis of symmetry is y equals negative 1. So it'd be nice to find, let's say, the x-intercept. The x-intercept occurs when y is 0. So the x-intercept occurs when y is 0. So x is equal to negative 3 times 0 plus 1 squared plus 5. Well, what is that? x is equal to 2. So we have an ordered pair, 2 comma 0, right there. So we have 2 comma 0. We have our vertex, which is 5 comma negative 1. And why don't we figure out what our symmetric point is. So it's got to be what? 2, negative 2? So over here, we should have an ordered pair. 2, negative 2. Right there. That is our symmetric point. So this is 2, negative 2. Um, if you want to, you could even find the y-intercepts. And of course, of course, finding the y-intercepts means when x is 0. So when you try to find the y-intercepts here, uh, x is 0. The good thing is this square is already completed. So we have, let's see. 5 thirds is equal to y plus 1 quantity squared. Take the square root of both sides, and we get the absolute value of y plus 1 is now equal what? It's now equal to the square root of 5 thirds. That means y plus 1 is equal to plus or minus uh, the square root of 5 thirds, and y is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over square root of 3. And of course, we could rationalize the denominator, and we get y is equal to negative 1 plus or minus root 15 over 3. You could even put common denominator. y is equal to, let's say, negative 3 plus or minus root 15 all over 3. So there are a couple of uh, y-intercepts. Um, doesn't ask you to find those, but we actually, you know, you know, um, to graph a parabola, you need at least three ordered pairs, and we actually have that. So why don't we play connect the dots? There's a parabola. There's a branch there, and then here's another branch right here. And there you go, you have your parabola. Make sure you uh, put the arrows at the end of your graph and label your ordered pairs. Just circling some key steps of your work here.